Hello friends, I am very excited. I've just received a package from Amazon and it contains nothing but coloring books. I am a beginner at adult coloring and I am very, very excited. All of those books are very well known. There is nothing really surprising about them, but I have the opportunity to choose books, to choose from authors that uh, have created a wealth of wonderful coloring books. And I had that chance just to pick the ones that I was sure I would love. Let me, first, let me show you the five books that I have already. As I said, I'm very new to coloring. I only have these five books and I have tried coloring in them. The very first book that I bought more than a month ago, some five weeks ago, it came from Book Depository, is the wonderful, magical book, a magical adventure and coloring book by Darius Song, The Night Voyage. It is truly wonderful. And I had seen flip throughs uh, on YouTube and I was absolutely smitten and I was in love with this book and I really, really wanted it. Uh, but when I got it, it turned out that I wasn't ready for it. it. It felt quite complicated. This is the only picture that I have managed to color and I'm not really pleased with it. I tried um, several media here. As you can see, this is um, a pink watercolor and it worked really well in this book. There's nothing, nothing has bled through. Um, and then I tried uh, Kohinoor uh, pencils. They did not work that well here. And then I got my Prismacolors and I um, I did most of that with the Prismacolors and I did some with gel pens, the silver details. And um, then I, the idea was that the color scheme would be something very girly, very uh, childish, all pink and baby blue and light blue and all sorts of uh, complementary colors. But um, I wanted the hair to be uh, light, to be kind of blonde, but but I didn't know how to achieve it. Uh, and the hair got completely lost in this picture. And then I went for uh, brown hair and it didn't work. And then I went in with some orange to create some auburn or red hair and it, ginger hair, but it didn't work either. And I'm not pleased with the hair, but, at, but I'm very pleased with the book. But this was, uh, I found this was the absolutely... This was the easiest picture to color because most of them are double spreads and and very, very complicated, very, yeah, well, I'm showing you stars and what's complicated about that, but there's a lot of background, a lot of, a lot of fantastical things. I found it just way too complicated for me at the moment, at my skill level, when I am, when it's actually a month since I started coloring at all. Uh, so the next thing, I got these four books from Amazon uh, a couple of weeks later and I began with Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and everyone knows and loves Ivy. It is, I would really recommend this for a beginner because it is, a, it is very, very beginner friendly uh, and you watch uh, the videos, here is a mistake. I will have to think about how how to how to deal with this, uh, but I have a I have an idea, and I tried all sorts of media here, and I tried uh, soft pastels that can't actually be seen here. I think it's very very light blue, you can't really see, but um, the thing about ivy is even if I don't produce marvelous results, the process is very. Um, relaxing, very exciting. I really, really, really love this book. I think it is a perfect book for a beginner because there are there are pages and this is why I chose it because there's a lot of text um, and so there are pages where you can, where you don't have that much to color. 
and you can just kind of relax more. Uh, this one did not work as well as I had hoped, but I tried watercolor in this book first. And I was really pleased because it didn't bleed through. There were just some uh, smudges there, but I kind of tried to color uh, to, to cover the, that uh, with the white Posca pen, uh, the white Posca marker. And then uh, these are just, there are some intricate details. This is uh, the glittery job and I tried to make it kind of like a metallic frame. You do something and you are uh, kind of learning something new all the time. I have a video on this one. Um, you are learning new things, you are learning new techniques, uh, you are learning about colors. Like I learned that um, kind of these colors would work on their own, but they don't work on pink and they, they don't really work that well together. I like, like this part much better. I learned from this page. I decided that uh, yellow and uh, pink and uh, purple and blue was too much all in one picture. And so I just chose just the silver and the blue here. And I like it better. Uh, so I'm learning techniques all the time. This is done just with watercolors. There's nothing else but watercolors and they are metallic and they are new. I'm buying new stuff. I'm getting very excited about that. And there are, yes, these were the first things that I tried and I tried to cover. There is a smudge there. All sorts of things that you learn. This is a perfect book to learn. I love it very much. And um, now Johanna has a new book, but at the point, at the time when I ordered books, this was her last book. And uh, I had seen the flip throughs and I had seen uh, finished uh, works and I knew that I would love this. And this does not intimidate me that much. Uh, as much as this book, when I got it, I kind of wondered why I had even ordered it because it seemed incredibly complicated. I just didn't know where to start. The details are very big. Everything is quite large. And I have only watched videos where you just work for hours on tiny, tiny little details. But I kind of decided just to try some pencils and so I did this page. First I tried the Prisma colors and first I tried this, the um, a much colder color scheme. Just everything was uh, this kind of um, purplish red, this pinkish red and blue. But then I decided that it didn't really work together so I changed the blue to green. And all in all, I think it's it's a nice picture. Then there was the romantic country, which I really loved. I love the childishness about it. But once I got it, I really got scared. Because when you see a flip through, you don't really know how large the book is going to be. And... Yes, there's a lot of details, but it's also a very big book. I, I, honestly, I have no idea what this is. It looks like a blown up picture. I have no idea how to color that. And I'm sure once I color it, it will look great. So I've just started this one. I've, I'm trying out all sorts of pencils here. I'm watching uh, YouTube tutorials. And I think that's the only part that I have tried. And I love this book. It is quite a good book for a beginner because there are many things there. Uh, you can try many things. There's just, there's, uh, there are uh, thread spools and cakes and uh, books and people and bears and dresses and scissors and stuff. There's and gardening things, and Easter things. There's, it's, there's a lot to try. I love this book. And the last thing from the previous order was this one. And I, I ordered it because I really wanted to have something cozy, something very, something about homes and interiors. But I 
once I opened it, I don't know, it's, I don't even know where to begin. This seems, for some weird reason, this seems complicated. Because there's a lot of things with shadows. That's the thing about jo Johanna Basford. Her books don't really have that much shadows. Everything is from the front. Everything is flat. And you can just uh, create dimensions with the way that you color. But here you can see, and I, I honestly have no idea which side would be in the light and where, where the dark would be in the shadows and everything. But um, I am pleased with this book. This is the, the first book that I have that has just uh, the drawing just on one side. And so I don't have to worry about you know, color bleeding through or, or I don't know, the, the very middle, which is a problem, I think. And now let's open this one. I really want to see what's in it. I ordered uh, these books, I think, two weeks ago. Wow, this is Hannah Carlson. I've seen so many videos with this book. I'm really, really intimidated by this book. At the same time, now that I've tried some coloring, I know that I will really enjoy doing this. And what I love about this book, first of all, it's the first book that I have that is in hard covers. And the second thing, the book is not that large. I'm really happy about this because I, I'm not that good with the pencil yet to cover large areas smoothly I can work with with small details oh this is so beautiful and the paper is just lovely oh, I am going to love this book I love this page with the girls I don't know how to do skin yet and I don't know how to do hair but I will learn oh my god this is amazing I also want the spirit animals, but I couldn't get them this time. And I'm also working with quite a limited budget. I overspent a lot with this haul, but this is a new hobby. So, of course, it's an investment. Oh, this is nice. The next one, I'm just grabbing something out of the box. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm feeling so emotional. I have never felt this emotional about a book before. This is so beautiful. Oh my God, the great goblin. I love it so much. There are characters, there are Weapons and tools and leathers and axes. Oh my. Legolas. I love Peter Jackson movies and I love the books by Tolkien. They are. I am a psychologist and I uh, also do sand play therapy and. Uh, that means that I've gone through um, the therapy process myself and these these characters, the figures of these characters mean so much to me personally. I will cherish this book. Oh my, it is so beautiful. I'm so touched I had forgotten that I, I bought this book. Now the next thing. I don't even know how many there are. I just feel that there's still a lot. What is this? Believe in magic. There was some reason why I bought it. And I don't really know why. I don't remember this seeing this book a lot in other people's videos. Wow, but I see why I chose it. First of all, I love the texts. I am a translator. And as you can hear, English is not my first language. 
and I love all sorts of texts. I love language. I love words. And I love seeing these words in pictures. I'm just, um, when I started learning sand play therapy, I learned to accept a lot of what is mysterious and what is unknown. Because when you study clinical psychology, you study experiments and you study science and you study statistics and numbers. <gasps> wow, this is so beautiful, the herbs. I'm a gardener, so I know, know all of them. I know how they have to look. I know the colors and I know the uses of these herbs. Do you say herbs or herbs? I've, I've heard both. I love this book. I didn't I didn't know I would, but now that I see it, now that I have it, I know I will love it and I and I do. It is really beautiful. Who who is the illustrator? Claire Scully. Wow. Great job. It's amazing. So the next thing the myth world I am right now, I'm really interested in mythology, in mythical creatures, especially the monsters, especially the sea monsters, the, the uh, Greek monsters and all sorts of things. But I chose, there are many books, there are many uh, adult coloring books about mythology, but I particularly love this one because... Well, because it's so well drawn and it, it looks quite easy to color. You see borders, you see uh, lines for everything. You know where everything begins and where everything ends. Like I tried to uh, print out a page by Kirby Rosanis and I could not really work with that. It, I found it very difficult because there are all sorts of tiny creatures that I have no idea what they are. I know they are a figment of uh, his imagination and so I have no idea what color they must be. These are figments of of ancient imaginations and it will be up to me. I love this book. It is really beautiful. Yeah, it feels like Christmas. It's just a present after present. The Creative Haven. I've seen a lot of Russian colorists use the Creative Haven books. And I don't know why. I am kind of expecting the books to be of quite, with quite thin paper. But it's not really that thin. And I love that uh, there is nothing on this side. So I don't have to worry too much. Um, I, I remember now why I ordered this fairy book. Because um, I have chosen so many uh, books with myths and, uh, and creatures and uh, monsters. I kind of thought that I needed something romantic just for, for a change. Oh, they are very beautiful. This one. There are tiny little fairies and each one has her own character. Yes, and there's a dragon. There's a fairy princess with a dragon. And who knows who's more powerful of the two. Oh, it's beautiful. What else is there? The Moomin coloring book. This has always been... Uh, my favorite children's book, The Moments. I've read them all. I love them all. I chose this one because it is small. I saw that there was another Moomin coloring book, but it was like A4, the standard size. And if you just take like this, I think there was something very similar to this picture. Um, 
And if it is like A4, then you have a huge body of a moment. Like this is, uh, I don't know what it is in English. It's uh, snork maiden. Snork maiden, is it? Ah, oh, yes, it says here snork maiden, yes. Uh, so they would be huge. And I wouldn't know how to color them. I, I really don't know what color moomins are. I, th I I used to think they were white. But are they? If they are white, then how do I color them? I will learn. Oh, it is such a nice little book. I will, I will definitely enjoy coloring these pages. Oh, yes. And this is the... What do you call it? The Elder? Is it the Elder? Snufkin. He's my favorite character, Snufkin. He's so independent and little Mai. She's just a brat. Yeah, the muskrat. The muskrat is the great philosopher of the moments. Oh, I love this book. So what else is there? Creative Haven Americana. I chose it because, first of all, there is this idea of Americana, of something very inherently American. I live in Europe. I've never been to America. And I only have the impression of America from movies and from, from Lana Del Rey. I think she's so Americana. And I kind of... I didn't really see any flip throughs of this one, but the pictures that I saw were so, it's just everyday life. Romanticized and, and beautiful everyday life. There are things that you can see in the real world, like this one, a fat man holding a baby. Isn't it nice? It is nice. Boys swimming. Oh. I love it. It is quite nice. And the paper is not that bad. I don't believe it would take watercolor. But but it feels very nice. I will definitely color this. I'm not afraid of this book. You hear me? I'm not afraid of you. So what else do I have there? Fantasy Designs, Creative Haven. That's one of those monster and and fairy and magical creatures book. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Wow. Look at this elf on a sparrow. Oh my god, it is so creative. It is just wow, this is such a Beautiful, beautiful picture. There's a mermaid. Yeah, well, she's very romantic and stuff, but I like these characters so much more. Oh, wow. Look at this face. Look at the teeth. Look at the earring. There's a little girl on his palm, but it's just... Wow. And there, there's the... the I don't know what it is. Is it an elf or a frog? It is. And this one. He looks kind of lonely and sad. What, what are those? What are those? What are those? I don't know. I don't see any mean characters though. This one's kind of mean. No, not really. Wow, these are... Two drinking buddies. Oh, my favorite drinking buddy. I'm playing Skyrim at the moment, so all the references are coming out. Yeah, there's a dragon. Wow, and there's this centaur, kentaur. How do you pronounce it in English? Oh, wow. On bees. There are such amazing characters. Look at... I'll, I'll color the trees and the grass and the stones, the pebbles. Yeah, and there's this strong woman with wings. I am... 
I am so happy I have this book. It is such a treat. Yeah, the wizard, the old wizard. Oh, and there's the, the one with the frog, a reference kind of. Yeah, worlds within worlds. I chose this one because, first of all, it was at a great price, let's be honest. And I looked at some pictures on Pinterest where people had colored these this this book worlds within worlds and they did not have that many of those tiny little creatures that I have no idea what they are and so I thought yeah well I can find references for these they are at least somewhat realistic oh my god this is the wow Look at that tiger. Look at the forest on his head. It is such a beautiful book. I am very intimidated by this book. Not by this. The Matryoshka dolls, the Russian dolls, I know them very well. This. I think I've seen someone do this page. And they did such a great job. I hope I can find that. All the answers, a tortoise, a skull. Yeah, you've seen this book, but I haven't, and I am so glad I'm, I have it, and I'm so glad it's not, it's not huge. It is quite large, but it's not as big as I had, kind of, feared. So there are two more, and they are small. I'm so, I'm so happy. It is small. Escape to Wonderland, a coloring book adventure. You see, when I, it might seem weird that I'm so happy to see small books, but it's, I'm a beginner and I am really not comfortable with large spaces that I don't know what to do with. And so I, I find it very relaxing if there are just some small details. What does it say? Who are you? Wow, isn't that the question? Who are you? To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Okay, I'm sorry, this is not the book that I had to quote Hamlet. Now, Oh, this is going to be fun. Look at that. A ship with a mouse. I don't remember any mice in, in ships in the book. They are beautiful. Look at this. There is the shape of the face. What are those? Those are some underwater things and creatures and, and fauna. When you've cleared all the jellyfish out of the way. I love the text here. Actually, this is a huge bonus. It, it has the interesting language of Carol. It has the... Off with her head. Nice. I love this book. And so we've come to the last one. I think it is the last one. Yes, there's nothing else. Escape to Shakespeare's World. And it's the same size as the previous one. And I love Shakespeare. I always have. I am a translator and a psychologist. And now I am also a colorist. Albeit not a good one. But I'm learning and I'm enjoying the process. I'm sure that is the most important thing. Wow. Okay, so there you have it. The illustrations are really, really pleasing to the eye. There are no weird lines. There's nothing disturbing about them. Okay, so, so there are my new books to color 
and this is going to be a fantastic adventure. I will abstain from buying new books for a while. And I definitely want to enjoy them. I am going to learn so much. I know. That, oh, wow. This one. Nice. So, there you go. The books for a beginner. Those are not books for a beginner. Those are books that I have chosen for me as a beginner. I love people and I love stories. And I think this is why I've chosen these books. All of them. Because they tell stories. I love stories. I'm going to love these books. I thank you for watching. This has been my first video. And I am sure I will learn so much by editing this. And I'm also sure there's going to be so, so, so much room for improvement. But if you watch this, then you have a very warm spot in my heart. And I thank you very much. So, until we meet again, all the best on your quest. Bye.